Hello everyone, my name is Ayub Huyi from iMaker and today I'll be showing you how to calibrate and level the build platform of the Phenom L from a Biopoly. Before we start talking about the calibration, I would like to highlight its importance. So, why is it important? Firstly, we want to make sure that the build platform is the same distance from the LCD screen at any point on its surface. Secondly, a bad or lack of a calibration is the main cause of the majority of the printing failures because the build platform is not parallel to the LCD screen. Firstly, we have to clean the LCD screen from all the dust and the fine particle and also the resin from the previous printing. So we start by spraying the vat and glass cleaner on the microfiber cloth and we try to remove all the dust from the LCD screen as you can see here. Then now it's time to clean the build platform. To do so, we spray the IPA into the paper towels, as you can see here. And then we take out the build platform by unscrewing the build platform screw. We try to clean thoroughly the build platform to remove all the resins from the previous printings. And then we put the build platform back to its place inside the 3D printer and we try to make it as tight as it should be. After that, we take the Allen key that comes inside the toolbox of the 3D printer and we try to loosen up all the four screws of the 3D printer just on top of the build platform. After we loosen up all the screws, you can see here that the build platform is loose and ready to be calibrated. Now it's time to turn on your 3D printer. As you can see, the display screen will go on. And then you press tools, you go to manual, and then you press the home button. Then you'll notice that your build platform will start lowering down until it reaches few millimeters above your LCD screen, which is basically the Z equals zero on your Z axis. After the build platform reaches the LCD screen, you'll notice that the build platform will go up slowly because the build platform is loose and that's what we want. It's really important to loosen up the build platform before this step, otherwise you will have the risk to squash or damage your LCD screen. Let's now try to fit and insert the A4 calibration paper just underneath the build platform and it should, it should uh, cover all the LCD screen. We try to apply an even pressure on the build platform while holding it like this and we try to tighten the screws of the build platform. We mainly have four. To do this, we highly recommend that you do it in two goes. In the first one, you tighten up the screws gradually and slowly. And in the second one, you tighten the screws firmly. Now, let's check whether our calibration was well done. To do so, we try to slide the A4 calibration paper just underneath the builder platform. We should start to feel a slight even resistance along the XY plane. Then we try to slide it again to see whether there is uneven air pressure. If there is nothing, then we're all good. As you can see here, the build platform is tight and ready to go. To wrap up, we set Z equals zero and we click on return. And now your build platform is calibrated and your printer is ready to go. 
If you have any issues with your printer, please feel free to send a ticket to support at imaker.com. And thank you very much for watching this video.